All right, let's talk about some uh, Monday mayhem in a California math class. We want you to do some jury duty on this one as we try to figure out who is actually at fault. Here's the backstory. Freshman student Marlena Martinez, she's the one in the short sleeve, uh, kind of bluish, greenish shirt, if you can figure it out. The female teacher's back is to us at this point, all right? Marlena started to put on her makeup before class ended. The teacher took her compact. Marlena then called her mom, and the teacher confiscated her cell phone. After that, well, here you go. All right, so you see the other kids trying to get in there and break it up. Marlena does have some bumps and bruises. A school official said the teacher has a black eye. So let me throw this out there, guys. You know, is it ever okay for a teacher, right, in that position of power to get into a fight with a kid? You know, I think that the teacher is in a position of authority, especially in today's age where a lot of parents are abdicating their authority to the schools. I think she lost credibility by getting into a brawl. How are, her, are these uh, kids in her classroom going to respect her after this? So what I mean, she's she on the done? floor. Her, she, I'm student, sure that you know, there were her, I'm sure there the security her. measures. Mm -hmm. When I was in school, okay. the teacher says you go down to the principal's office. But, Call the principal. But this kid isn't listening. See, that's my thing. In this case, you look at a teacher, what response does she have when the student's grabbing her, when the student keeps pushing up on her? Do we know if she could have gotten out of there? Do we know what she could have done? And the student comes right at her. Yeah, but when so she what said, response I'm going to call have? my mother, the teacher snatches her cell phone from her? Yeah, but the student was disrespectful from the very moment you said, but go. She, yeah, I mean, but why she put her makeup have, on? Listen, why you she have a class out? of young minds watching you. Children learn how how they're going to behave in society by how they see mm. us behave. And so now when good you're point. 30, you're going to talk about seeing your teacher in high school and on the floor. But look at this. You know, the first thing I see right in there, you know, and I'm not saying she had the best response. The first thing she did, what did she do? She Push pushed the student away. off. Pushed her, get away from me. Right. That's her response. What does the student do? I'm coming at you. And listen, you have her. to wonder what, right there, what's going to happen off. here, you know, legally, because Marlena, the student, was arrested yeah. for assault. Right. Yeah. So she's going to learn today whether she'll be expelled. The teacher mm -hmm. is on paid leave during the investigation. She has not been charged. The teacher hasn't been charged mm -hmm. with any crime here. Marlena is 15 years old, and she says she knows she bears some blame here, but... She and her family apparently say that the teacher should have pushed, as you're saying, a panic button and walked away. But you point out, you're right, I mean, she pushed her. Listen to the family. I think the family's going to say something here. I know I did wrong by going up to her, trying to get my stuff, but from the get-go, she should have just went and go, went to go press that button. And not following the policy protocol for, you know, handling students. Push whatever button they have to push for the security. And they should step outside. Uh, wow. She, she, you know, she Can needs I to spend more time trying to get her lesson. Did you hear that child just talking? Yeah. Okay, what is she <laughs> learning in school? She needs to be doing more than putting on makeup and calling her mama. But you know what? She well, what's about, she learning at home? You say, thing. what is she learning in school? What's she right. learning at home? Because where's the accountability I mean, for her side none. of the story? Right. And, and let's talk about this, the panic button, right? Push, okay, so I push that panic button. Right. What do I do? I stand there while and she's wait. coming at me, giving you know me what? a beat down? That's not going to happen, well, not and it's that, not even about the, the first thing. You, let's just be real. The beatdown happened because she took the cell phone. She shouldn't have taken the cell phone. So you're okay, saying when the girl says, "I'm not going to stop putting on my makeup," hit the panic button. Judge, I'll do hit respect. The panic judge, button. judge, we wouldn't be in a judge, fight. We judge, wouldn't be in a fight. All due respect, this girl was out of control in that classroom. Are you telling me that that girl might not still have come at her? She's trying to get order in her classroom. Right. I'm taking away the makeup. I told you to put it down. Judge. You're the pro you're, you're you're taking the side of the prosecution. Okay. Right, right, clearly, right here. Defense. Okay. <laughs> so right, right, judge, defense. Judge, well, judge, that's not so good. Judge, you're trying to convince us the teacher's at fault. <laughs> all right. And Ryan, you're defending the teacher. Right. All right. Go. Okay. Did you see the little video clip? The first person to 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 swing was the teacher. I mean, I don't, I think that she created the situation. She should have used her position of authority, the fact that she's a lot older than this girl, to quell the situation. But instead, she got into a tete for tete, word for word, back and forth with this girl and got involved in the escalation of the violence.
All right, you know what? Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen, at that picture again when we talk about who's in the right and who's in the wrong here. Now, you mentioned, look at this. The first person to hit was that girl. You see that little hit? And then the push. Now, let's, be, let's talk about the real world here, ladies and hit. gentlemen. It was a little hit, then a push. Now, remember, in the real world, you're not supposed to touch your teacher. That's number one. In the real world, as much as you think, oh, push the panic button, run away, say, hey, you shouldn't do that. That's not how people react in the real world. This teacher was under fire. That student was coming at her. She was trying to get her off of her, and then the fight ensued. Do I think it's right that she kept fighting? No. But is, in is the right and wrong having, of this, the teacher did Ryan, what she had to do in that they moment. They were having a verbal argument that escalated to the physical. And started. The, 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 the teacher should have put a stop to it. I'm started, not going to get into word for word who with started a the child. Touching? Who started the touching? It was I the agree student. with you that the Who student, pushed the student off? The it was the teacher. teacher. But the teacher had an obligation. As a teacher, we have put our children in her mm -hmm. charge to act like we would. So you're saying okay, if a teacher... Okay, to act, you're saying to if, act in our if stead. If you're in a classroom and I'm a student touches you... I'm not going to go back you, and forth with my child. I'm not going to go so back and forth. So what are you going to do? You're, okay. you're in a classroom, a student what? touches you, you push her off her, she goes to beat you down. You're going to stand there because you're trying to set the right example well, for no, the kids. Well, no, I'm going to beat her silly. And that's what but this teacher did. But my point is it didn't need to So you would do what this teacher did. It didn't need to get to this point. The teacher was in a position to prevent it from getting to this point. But you just admitted How you would do what the teacher did. I rest my case. My point, she had a right to defend herself once it gets to be violent. And it got to be violent once she, she touched her. She could have prevented it from becoming a violent action. I'm now teasing the new reality show, Rye Rye versus Judge Karen. <laughs> It'll be here on HLN coming up in the fall. Okay, you're the jury, so how would you vote? Is the teacher at fault or the student? Go to facebook.com slash raisingamericahln or tweet me at Kara HLN and tell me what you think.